Okay, so the day has finally come when we're gonna start assembly the battery and uh, do some tests on the cells, I guess. Yeah, so we have all the all the cells here, all the material to start to to assemble the, the whole battery bank. We have them here. Boxes. So we have 16 of these cells. Oh, they are quite <laughs> well packed. Yeah. So this is how it looks like. They are. Uh, yeah, we'll probably go into the details about cells later, but they are 280 amp hours each and have a nominal voltage of 3.2 volts. So we're gonna have 16 of these in series, which means that we need to. And then we have a 48 volt system from that. Yeah. Which means that we need to build a. A rack basically to hold everything together steady and uh, then connect everything together and then uh, we're also going to do a balancing of all the cells to make sure that they are at the same state of charge all of them and when that is done we basically have our battery ready okay so i started off with the assembly that's going to hold the battery cells in uh, in place in the boat so this is the this is the plywood that was the basic the, the flooring within in the compartment where we're gonna keep the battery. It's, it's quite thin, it's only 9mm. I would have preferred to be a bit thicker, but uh, on the other hand, it feels like ah, it would be nice just to be able to reuse whatever was there before. We're just gonna stiffen it up with some, uh, some pieces of wood here, these pieces, and uh, then the cell's gonna be stacked like this. So there will be 8 cells in this slot. And then eight more in the in this slot. On this side will be a I'm not sure if you call it a bulkhead, but a plywood plywood uh, uh, which is part of the construction in the sailboat. Uh, and then we're gonna basically compress uh, the cells against this wall. And then there will be a, a a loose piece of plywood here that will that will be able to move along as as we compress the cells. Mm -hmm. So I've uh, gotten a bit further with the battery build. Uh, as you can see, all the batteries are put together in this uh, yeah, kind of holder. I also built up uh, like a mock-up of the compartment in the sailboat where the where everything's gonna be installed. So yeah, obviously this wall, this wall, this wall is just some scrap wood that I put up to hopefully the right dimensions so that we can make the full installation here. Uh, remote from the sailboat and then uh, then just take everything down and, and uh, mount it in the sailboat. It's probably a bit hard to see but in the middle here and on each side there's two threaded bars going straight through the whole uh, straight through all cells to a plate on the other side with aluminum uh, profiles like this and then the whole package is uh, clamped together uh, with these threaded rods to mainly to keep everything in place to make sure that the, the studs are not moving so the, we don't have any, any damages uh, where the bus bars will be connected and uh, also it's supposed to increase the, the number of cycles you can you can discharge this type of cells with but for us I would say it's mainly to, to really keep everything in place the cells will also be clamped down with a strap probably going all over here on this side all over here and then and then strap down so this uh, this end of the construction is not fixed this one's actually sliding or moving so when compressing we'll probably show you that later in another movie this one is actually moving and then pushing against the cell yeah and I've also slightly started to to route the, the wires that goes to each shell for cell, cell um, voltage measurements and and balancing so the, the BMS so the battery management system will be mounted here and then here are all the leads for the, or the wires for the cells yeah, and then they will be routed here. I think I will, I will route them in this plastic tubing to protect them as, uh, as I won't go with any fuses for these wires. In, in a short circuit event these guys will 
will basically self fuse, they will just burn up. The tubing, the idea with the tubing is to protect them as, as good as possible. I really believe in making a, a, a good installation from start. I think that's that's the best way to protect yourself from, from any potential hazards or failures in the future. And obviously these guys will not be strapped to the bus bars, that's just for now to to measure everything up. So this is wired then, is that yeah, you have a, uh, obviously a plus plus bar and a, a plus uh, pole and a minus pole on each battery and this will be our main negative, main positive and then all these 16 cells will be connected in series so you will go to the first one, connect to the next one which then has the opposite sign, so this is the positive to this cell and then your negative this cell and then you will just continue all the way around like this I'm missing some bus bars here now so the, and, and now I'm just having them actually to to be able to <laughs> keep the the other wires in place while while uh, construction the, constructing that uh, that harness yeah and as I said so this then this will be main negative main positive we'll take those leads out here and then we'll go to a BMS that will be placed here this BMS uh, it's a transistor controlled BMS so it will basically shut off the negative side positive side will go to a main fuse and then yeah so on we'll come to that later and then this whole uh, thing will be covered in a polycarbonate or some plastic uh, cover here just to make sure that you cannot touch anything and also protect it from yeah basically anything also we have the inverters in place we decided to go for this mounting instead of having both side by side because then they will actually fit by side by side but then there are just 10 millimeters between them basically and 10 millimeters to the wall and so I think that's that's a bit too tight. It would have been nice to have them side by side and use this use this surface for uh, other stuff mounting but uh, yeah I think we'll go with this this setup instead. Okay so all the cell wiring are now done of course they're gonna be strapped down with some um, zip tie anchors here later on but I'll do that when we do the final installation later on in the boat also the temp sensors there are four temp sensors also the BMS in position so here we see all the cell wires just put the temporary main negative uh, cable this is obviously way smaller than, than what it should be but I don't have the tools to crimp the correct cable right now and that is just the main it's the main feed for the, for the BMS and then there's one of these communication boards I think we'll just try to mount this one like this later on and then there will be a plastic plastic cover for for all this okay so the battery pack is now hooked up together I've also very quick and dirty hooked up uh, one of the multipluses and not with the proper cabling or anything at all I just used this, as you can see, thin 6 square millimeter cable. Uh, it's uh, definitely way too small, but it was the only thing that I had uh, available. And I really wanted to start to do the first uh, charge of this battery pack. Um, and what you want to do initially uh, with, a, with a battery pack like this, which consists of uh, separate battery cells, uh, in this case 16 of them connected in series, so that we get 16 times the voltage of one cell. And the voltage of one cell is nominal 3.2 volts and then in total we have uh, is it 51.2 volts or close to 48 volts um, but what you want to make sure especially in the beginning of, of uh, when you're putting together a battery pack like this is that the cells are balanced or and um, what that means is that you want them to be at the same state of charge basically uh, because a setup like this as the whole battery pack together or the whole battery uh, will not be better than the than the worst cell basically if you just continue like that and never balance anything the lowest charged cell will will never really be fully charged when you charge the battery and that's basically why why you have typically in an installation like this some kind of balancing circuit and in this case it's integrated in the BMS first time normally if, and especially if the cells are maybe spread out a bit in quality one way of, of, of solving it then is that you instead of charging them in series like this you connect all the cells in parallel and you charge them in parallel which means that they will see the exact same voltage and you continue to charge to a norm almost fully charged state and then if you make sure that the cells stay at the same voltage at that state of charge 
more or less fully charged and they basically equalize. Uh, I've not done this on, on this battery because these cells are very very equal instead of charge already from the beginning. So I just charged them in series to, to close to fully charged and then I kept them at that voltage for some time and let the active uh, balancer in this BMS do the job instead and, uh, and it didn't take very long. It's a 2 amp active balancer and, and I only let it balance for for a couple of hours and then I was within 10 millivolts of difference which I think is very much acceptable for a, for a battery like this. And also this balancing will actually continue every time I, sh I fully charge it will have some time to balance. So I think that's good enough. Also did a quick, uh, it's very difficult with the light here. Also did a quick setup of the Cerbo GX and uh, also quite easily actually managed to set it up so that the BMS here, the JK BMS up there, uh, is actually in control of the charging in the Victrum system now. So the BMS sends uh, its charge parameters, which is set up in the in the BMS app. So it sends the requested charge voltage and requested charge current, and also the allowed discharge current to the Victron system, and then the Victron system distributes that to to whatever is connected. Right now, it's only one multiplus, so so. It, it's quite easy, but uh, for example, later on, if we would have solar and a multiplus and a lot of things, that, then then that should be sorted out by the Servo GX in the Victron system. And this communication goes over uh, over the CAN bus. Very very hacky right now on this uh, on standard LAN cable, but uh, yeah, this will obviously be sorted out later. Next up here is to actually also start to to sort out some better cabling because now it's just a, just a mess and the whole idea with this uh, the whole idea with this um, <coughs> mock-up setup is that that we should be should be able to do all the cabling here now nice and tidy so so just a matter of installing it in the boat later on when we get to that boat. Mm -hmm.